Hello. So the next piece I will play for you in the Christmas medieval modern fusion theme is the Coventry Carol. This carol is, rather disturbingly, about children being murdered. It is a reference to the Massacre of the Innocents, an event described in the Gospel of Matthew. In it, King Herod orders the execution of all male children in Bethlehem under the age of two, after hearing of the birth of a baby who would become king. This song is supposed to be a lullaby sung by three mothers of Bethlehem to their doomed sons. One would hardly think that this would be a suitable subject for Christmas, but interestingly, this carol is probably rather different from what you think it is. The words of the carol were first recorded in 1534 and formed a song in part of an annual pageant of the Shearman and Tailors Guild that took place in Coventry every year. The pageants were a way of attracting people to the region to celebrate and buy their goods. The plays took place as a celebration in midsummer and was essentially a large street party and attracted huge crowds. Plays in medieval times were generally comic affairs and this play would have been no exception. The Coventry Carol's words seem mournful, but when read alongside the text of the play, the song is deliberately sombre against a backdrop of comic slapstick. It is like a sad song in a modern day pantomime. No doubt there would have been the usual booing and jeering against Herod, the villain, and the crowd would have likely been drunk. The first music manuscript was dated 1591 by Thomas Mordyke. It is not clear whether he was the composer or just wrote out the music. The comedic nature of the song is also hinted at in the music as it contains a deliberate and shocking dissonance, making the audience think a wrong note was being played during such a serious act. The piece has continued to be popular to this day. I have combined three different versions of the tune for my arrangement for six violins. The first is the original version from Thomas Mordyke. The next is a version from Alec Rowley, who wrote this as part of his Christmas Suite for Strings in 1930. The final version is an arrangement by Mark Hayes from 2015, who cleverly combines the carol with Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring by Johann Sebastian Bach but transposed to a minor key. You can hear when Herod makes his proclamation and the children are being slain. I hope you enjoy my arrangement and rendition of the Coventry Carol for six violins. <laughs> 